Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Natural Gas did have another strong pullback where it actually fell below the $2.1 mark and the massive factor affecting that is the weekly natural gas inventories report. It was expected to be 54, which is the storage going down by 54B, but it came out to be close to negative 47B, which means less natural gas was used during this week. And on the other end, Turkey pledges to supply natural gas to Hungary and in the future trying to hit a goal of 6 billion. Before we get into that, if you guys are here for the first time, you do want to stay up to date with everything to do with natural gas, go down, tap the red subscribe button, right there, slap a like on the video, just help the YouTube algorithm, push the video to more people, and more people can stay up to date with the natural gas report. Now you guys know every single week on Thursday we get the natural gas storage data. Now this week it was expected to be but down by 54. If it would have been that, it would have affected the price in a positive manner just because of the fact more is being used so the demand will increase over time. But as you guys can see, less inventory was used up compared to what was expected and if you actually compare this to last week as you guys can see it was down by 72 so it was being used up quite significantly higher compared to this week personally am i surprised by this not at all because we are at the end of march which is quite pretty much the end of like the worst time for natural gas price and after we get into april i personally feel like the price will be able to see more positive trend that's just my expectation and on the other end which are some good news coming to out towards natural gas is turkey which has done trading volume between turkey and hungary has hit 3.5 billion us dollars in 2022 they have a goal of reaching 6 billion turkey is ready to supply natural gas to hungary to the trans Antolian natural gas pipeline project Turkey president said as of now we are ready to provide all kinds of support with this regarding the delivery of natural gas to Hungary through the pipeline which they are trying to place outside now this is really good because in the future they might be able to do more trades between Hungary and Turkey and if Hungary increases their demand Turkey will be able to satisfy that and that will play a crucial role on the natural gas market and obviously help with the price the reason this is all working out so well right now is because the price is so low but if this deal still stands after the price goes back up that will be the crucial make or break point another thing is Michigan utilities want to spend taxpayers low carbon money on natural gas Utilities hope to expand Michigan market for fossil and renewable natural gas as state and advocates call for the decarbonization to fight climate change. I mean, you guys do realize that this is going to be a huge deal. They're obviously spending a lot of taxpayers' money, but at the same time, they do have to be careful that they're able to support the use of natural gas without actually disturbing the nature to move away from dirty and expensive home heating oil maine has decided to go big on one solution heat pumps these devices can use electricity to pull heat from the surrounding air and they are working well even in very cold state now if this is worked as it is supposed to it is obviously going to save a lot of money for a normal person and also in 2020 c the state set a goal of installing 245,000 heat pumps, which is quite significant. And they reached about 48% of their housing stock by 2030. If this all goes by plan, roughly 20% of US greenhouse gas emissions will go down, which will significantly help improve the environment and make sure it is livable for most of the people around. Now, talking about the market, as you guys can see that since we closed on the 28th of March, we opened quite significantly higher. Is that a good thing? I mean, it just helps the market come back into a more positive trend. Now, this positive trend actually stayed on until this week's weekly report actually dropped. Now, keep in mind that at the same time, some other news dropped, which caused the US dollar to 
kind of slowed down on the momentum it was building and at the same time a lot of gold asset like such as gold silver platinum everything was quite significantly up but that did cause the natural gas market to actually dip down a little which i am sure that the long traders are not very happy about as you guys can see if you look at the super trend we were in an uptrend since the past three days but just from the past three hours we have switched that around because we did break below the support level which was 2.1 now if we break below that and decide to make it all the way down to two dollar you guys know psychologically that's going to play a huge role we might be able to see a little bit of a bounce back from two dollar market if we do not then most likely the next support level is close to 1.8 now this is only for the traders who are let's say long traders and want to make sure that the price actually plays accordingly if you're trying to find the exact bounce off points i would say psychologically playing around the $2 mark will play a huge role. On the RSI line, as you guys can see, it is slightly in the oversold zone, but that could also mean that we can go into a little bit of a consolidation period before we see another pull up. As you can see that in the past six hours, the sell orders have significantly outweighed the buy orders which is quite crazy actually another thing is natural gas bulls burned so if you do not know naturally the trend in terms of how well natural gas does it just means that underground storage starts building up from april march is still bad in terms of price but if you want the price to increase it starts from april because most of the countries start building up their supply and it is the highest around november that's why november is also one of the lowest points of natural gas price so it's very clear to see in february march they're not building up any inventories in november it is maxed out so those are the three months which are the worst if you want to talk about the natural gas price how oil and gas companies can be successful in renewable power now in this one they're just talking about climate change which i thought was really interesting because i think that if oil and natural gas is able to play a crucial role in the traditional business model it might actually be very good because investing in sustainable power value chain can provide an opportunity to diversify and play a leading role in the industry transitions now you know right now it is a big thing to change your ways into a renewable source you can use natural gas you can use electrification you just need to make sure that your company is in a good green and right now a lot of people are switching to natural gas so i feel like in the near future we will be able to see the demand go up significantly now japanese index inpex says australia risk is unintended consequences as it quietly quits lng now the head of japanese biggest oil and gas producer has warned australia's risk undermining global security through a decision to quietly quit the international gas trade now they have been trying to cut down on their export and let's just say the japanese producers are not happy about that other than that i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did drop a like on it if you're new to the channel do want to stay up to date with everything subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon i'm out peace